You're here for Infowars.com. I am live at 11 o'clock on a Friday night from my home in Austin, Texas. And I was about to go live from the War Room's Twitter account and do a broadcast to update you on the status of my YouTube channel when I got a notification that my live stream wouldn't go out. And then I looked at the live stream we put out today of the War Room show that runs 3 to 6 p.m. Central Time weekdays, and that was also terminated. However, I was able to tweet out from the War Room's Twitter account, so it appears that there is some sort of a mix-up there whether or not we are allowed to be on the War Room and tweeting and live streaming and what the deal with that is. So I don't even know what the deal with that is, but I will go ahead and cover what I came on to talk about tonight, which is the ban of my YouTube channel. But I want to get into something before I get into that. <clears throat> there is another level to this censorship that people don't realize who haven't been censored yet. And that is the ability to communicate with other people. Now, my YouTube channel that just got terminated, I was in communication with a lot of people via that channel. I can get a lot of people's attention by commenting on videos that people see my name and then go to my channel that then reach out to me and I can communicate with. Same thing goes on Twitter. If my Twitter account goes down tonight, there is a handful of people that I will lose direct communication with. And now sitting here realizing this, I need to like document and get everyone's phone number. And I don't even like asking people's number on Twitter because then you know who goes in there and shares it with all their friends so that they can send a bunch of messages and text messages to you and harass you all day. But I digress. My point here is that I'll just give you a direct example. There is a YouTube channel called Savage Facts great YouTube channel that has been cutting up my man on the street interviews and putting them out in short clips or, or short films, if you will, 29 volumes. Now, I was communicating with this individual through YouTube by commenting on his videos and communicating with him there. Now, I have no idea how I'm going to communicate with this individual now who just did a video on his channel about the YouTube censorship and he's not even an InfoWars fan. He, he just likes my man on the street interviews and so he, he, he cuts them up into highlights and puts them and he, and he has his own YouTube channel because we're free to air. And so he got like 20,000 plus subscribers. I don't know how many subscribers he's got. You can go look at his videos. Some of them have hundreds, hundreds of thousands of views. I... I can't even put my material up on YouTube anymore. Only other channels now can put up my material on YouTube. The Alex Jones channel, gone. The War Room channel, gone. My personal YouTube channel, gone. But the next level of this that people don't understand yet is that this is, this is also communication censorship President Trump needs to realize this. Dr. Shiva Ayodhure broke this down on the Alex Jones show today. We need to use the precedent established by the Postal Service and either create a new social media platform through the government. And people say, oh, we don't need the government in charge. No, 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 no. It's, the po it's like the Postal Service meets the 21st century, folks free speech, and if the federal government or anyone from the government gets involved in tampering the free speech, it's 20 years in prison, federal crime. So, now I have no ability to communicate with savage facts, and if, if I get banned from Twitter, which is coming next, I won't be able to communicate with a lot of people that I communicate on Twitter with, which, by the way, 
It's like I just did I just did the the internet tour in the month of August in response to the censorship. I was able to do uh dozens of interviews because of Twitter and people reaching out to me on Twitter and me reaching out to them on Twitter and communicating. So so this is beyond just not being able to get content you want or or not being able to get the news you want or me not being able to go live stream. This is directly blocking Direct communication. This is stopping people from talking to one another. Do you understand? They are, these, these companies are now stopping people from talking to one another. Are we just going to sit here and allow this? Okay, but, so that's what's going on with that. Again, I was set to do a broadcast on the War Room Channel's Twitter tonight when I find out now all of a sudden we can't go live. And they terminated my live broadcast from today. I was going to talk about these two emails I got from the YouTube uh, support team here. And I was going to discuss exactly how YouTube is, is they're caught, they, I caught them lying to me. Because, and, and I'm going to explain that. But I just want people to understand. This is beyond you not being able to access Alex Jones this is beyond you not being able to access the news you want on social media platforms. They are now blocking people from being able to communicate with Alex Jones. They are now blocking Alex from being able to talk to people on Twitter, which is a, a, a source for us to get probably 20% of our new guests. We get via Twitter. We're now cut off from that. Alex can no longer get people's attention. We can no longer message people. And who knows? I was done with Twitter on my on this account. The account that I'm on, I was done. I was putting it back down. Who knows? Maybe I'll get banned today. And that's why I was going to put that's why I was putting it down cuz I didn't want it to get banned. Alex and I agreed, just put it aside, just leave it there. Just just let it be there and, and just don't do anything to get you banned. And then I get hit on the war room to not go live. So this is all I got. So I'm doing it. So I don't even know if this channel will be up by the end of the night. And, and, and people keep asking lawsuit, lawsuit, lawsuit. There's tons of lawsuits. Uh, it's, 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 it's different. Just the legal aspect of this is unprecedented. We're in uncharted waters. It's going to have to go to the Supreme Court or there's going to have to be antitrust. That, that's, that is it. Okay? But, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about directly my situation right now with the lawsuit because there's a different ripple to what they did to me than what they did to anyone else, which is an interesting one, which is why I got on here tonight to cover these two emails and to show how this is an example that whatever excuse they give to ban people, it's total bull. It's total bull. So I'll first just say this because I have a lot of commenters asking, what's the plan? Well, I will just tell you right now, that InfoWars is working on, well, let's just say our own social media platform. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. InfoWars.com slash show hopefully will always be there. I mean, who knows if they want to, if the, if the people that, that host our website want to abandon us too, we'll just have to find someone else, but that's just how it goes. So that's fine. We're working around this and we'll continue to work around this. And if they want to continue to censor free speech, if they want to continue to ban InfoWars everywhere, if they want to continue to make Alex Jones an unhuman, they'll just make us more powerful. I'm, I'm fighting harder now than I ever have because of this censorship. I started the InfoWars army, which is already getting threatened, which is already getting threatened, folks. Hasn't even been around for a week, already getting threatened. And, and what was my plan for that? Every Monday morning, I do a briefing on the War Room account, about an hour-long live broadcast, a briefing to the InfoWars Army. And who knows if I'll be able to do that? So I'm banned, you know, banned from YouTube. How do I reach the people? So, so this is what they, they're doing. And so what happens when Alex Jones gets attacked? So, so for example, there were stories that Alex Jones was arrested in D.C., when he went on Wednesday, they said, Alex Jones arrested in D.C. He was never arrested. And then 
What is Alex supposed to do in response to that? He can't go on Twitter. He can't go on Facebook. He can't go on YouTube and correct the record. He's banned. And they'll never tell you about his website. So they just destroy Alex Jones the human, and then he's dehumanized so you don't care when he's erased off the internet and then killed. I mean, this is 1984 Orwellian and beyond, folks. So, what do you do? Well, like I said, people want to know, what do we do? Well, we're going to build our own thing. Mike Adams built Real.Video. Uh, Andrew Torba built Gab. But it's, it's beyond this. It, it's beyond this. So, we're going to see what happens here. But... When, I, when I'm about to go live on the War Room's Twitter account, which is where I was going to do all the InfoWars Army briefings, which they probably want to stop that, I was immediately banned from going live, and the live broadcast that we did today was terminated. And it's somehow like people don't even know that I'm live from 3 to 6 p.m. weekdays at InfoWars.com slash show. Why? Because most people are on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. And they don't go beyond that. And they know that and that's why they've censored us there. So let me get into what happened with my YouTube channel. Now first let me just tell you a brief history of my YouTube channel that has gotten me to this point of getting this email today right as I go live on the on the war room updating me on the status of my YouTube channel. So about five years ago, I'm working live in sports media and the Boston Marathon bombing happens and for the first time in my life, I'm paying attention to news and current events. And what I discover Watching television news is that it's fake news, and it's all staged, and the FBI lies to you, and when they have these press conferences, they lie to you, and there's all this crazy stuff. I won't go into the history of the Boston Marathon bombing, but my point is that covering that in sports media, first time I've ever watched television news ever in my life, never cared, only cared about sports, and it just blew my mind. I was shocked. Like, these people are all frauds. They're all liars. I can't believe this. And so I'm trying to talk about the Boston Marathon bombing on air. I have an obsession with being right, and I, I, can't, I can't even tell people what's going on because I'm just being lied to. And so this was my awakening. This was my red pill moment, if you will. So, of course, this is how I wind up coming upon InfoWars and Alex Jones. So I decided at that time in my life, taking the red pill, that I was going to pivot my career in media to politics from sports media. So I started my YouTube channel and I started doing political broadcasts and I started doing what they would call conspiracy theory broadcast. And so for five years, I'm doing this, but, but really it was mainly for about four years. I guess I started it maybe six years ago. I'd have to go back and check the dates. I don't know. When I started working for Infowars, I put my channel aside. I did some live broadcasts and then put it aside and, and, and put everything in InfoWars and InfoWars was growing and that's where all the energy was. That's where all the investment of time and effort was. And so look how far InfoWars has come. So my YouTube channel was just kind of out there as my own old channel that I never uploaded to, I never touched, like the, you know, the last video was a, a live stream I did like two years ago probably. That is until InfoWars was banned from YouTube. So we have three live streams on YouTube, Real News with David Knight in the morning, The Alex Jones Show in, in the lunchtime, and then The War Room with myself and Roger Stone afternoon drive 3 to 6 every, every weekdays. So that's our schedule. Boom, we get banned from YouTube. So... Our biggest audience is on YouTube. This is kind of their first trial run. We're not really sure how this is working out. So for the first time in probably two years or so, I fire up my YouTube channel and go live for the war room. 
because what happens? Alex is banned from YouTube, and then I'm on YouTube, and Alex comes on the war room, and then the war room gets banned from YouTube. So Alex is not even allowed to exist on YouTube. So boom, Alex is banned. He comes on the war room. Boom, the war room is banned. And so the next day, I'm like, well, we got to be live on YouTube. We've got multiple channels that restream us on YouTube. Our biggest audience is on YouTube. Tens of thousands of viewers, live viewers every day on YouTube. So I have the idea, well, why don't I fire up my channel? And so, okay. So we fire up my channel. We live stream the war room. Boom, hit immediately. Now, this was back, I, I couldn't even tell you the date, more than a month ago probably. And so YouTube sends me an email and says, you've been hit with a 30-day suspension from going live on Owen Schroyer's War Room Show or Owen Schroyer's YouTube channel. War Room Show was already banned. I get hit with a strike. This is my first strike. My first strike was the live stream video where Alex Jones joined me. And I was told it was for uh, some media violation. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm using copyrighted content. Some video I played, they claimed was copyrighted content. So, so that's what they claimed. Now, if you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you with two acres underwater. But that's what they told me. I got hit, copyright strike, boom, violation strike one. I'm sure it had nothing to do with us restreaming InfoWars live broadcast. But okay, I'm banned from going live. Anybody that does YouTube knows that there's different types of bans. Go for, banned from going live is one type of ban. I'm hit with that ban. Well, we're still totally banned from YouTube. And we're still doing reports. I'm still doing reports. I've got massive viral videos like Aid Skrillex, Carl the Cuck, Fart Whistle Lady, and on that are viral videos that were on the Alex Jones channel that are now gone. So, and I'll just tell you this, Alex and I had a discussion actually, and he told me not to do this. He said, don't upload to your channel anymore. They're going to ban it. And I broke, and I, and I disobeyed the boss and I, and I did upload. And so I uploaded the old viral videos like AIDS Skrillex, Carl the Cuck, Fart Whistle Lady, Chicken Man, um, uh, I mean, Battle Axe Unicorn. I mean, the, the most viral videos I ever did which are still all over the internet. You can still find these on other channels for now, but who knows how long that'll be. So I'm just re-uploading old videos of mine, man on the street videos that are already all over YouTube. They've already been on YouTube. So they've never been struck for any violation or you know community service guidelines or anything. So I just re-upload these. So I'm just re-uploading old videos to my channel. No strikes, no complaints, no nothing. And then all of a sudden, probably five days after I upload the last video, re-upload it, an old viral video from the Alex Jones channel of my Man on the Street interviews that I re-upload to my channel, Owen Schroyer, that have never been struck. And... Maybe I uploaded probably 20 videos, old videos that had been on the internet for years, all over YouTube, and I just re-upload them to my channel. And then I get this email on Tuesday. We'd like to inform you that we've received, here it is right here, we'd like to inform you that we've received a circumvention of technologies complaint Regarding your YouTube account, Owen Schroyer. Now, now, this is key because circumvention of technologies is a new phrase. I've never heard this one. I've never seen anyone get this one. Circumvention of technologies. We'll come back to that. Let me just finish the email. I'll just read the email. I'll come back to this. We'd like to inform you that we've received a circumvention of technologies complaint regarding your YouTube account, Owen Schroyer. Upon review, we've determined that activity in your account violates YouTube's terms of service. As a result, we've terminated your account. If you'd like to appeal the suspension, please submit this form. So I did submit the form. But what's the key? Circumvention of technologies complaint. 
circumvention of technologies complaint. No community guideline violation. No one claiming copyright to anything. Circumvention of technologies complaint. I'd never heard of that one before. So what can we assume that is? Because we're left to assumption, folks. They don't, they don't give me the video. They don't give me a quote. They don't, they don't tell me what it is. And I hadn't uploaded a video in, in, in at least five days. And, and again, it's all old videos that have been on YouTube for long periods of time and are still all over YouTube. But so circumvention of technologies. Okay, so we're left to assume that that means I'm rebroadcasting something that they've banned. Circumventions of technologies. That means someone who's already been banned from YouTube is, is now using this channel to circumvent that ban. Okay, well, what could that possibly mean? That would mean I'm, I'm uploading War Room videos to my channel. I'm not. That would mean I'm uploading Alex Jones videos to my channel. I'm not. That would mean I'm streaming something from InfoWars that's been banned. I was not. All I was doing was uploading videos that were previously on YouTube, never had a strike, never got a complaint, and are still all over YouTube. So... I filed the I appeal and I said, well, what exactly are you talking about? Circumvention of technologies. I was never rebroadcasting, Alex. I wasn't rebroadcasting anything. I wasn't uploading anything that was banned. I'd never upload it. So, so basically, it's total BS. Because, because here's what I understood. See, we're smarter than these people. And Alex was smart and he said, they're going to ban you. Don't upload to your channel. I was a bad boy and disobeyed the boss, and I did upload to my channel. But I was still smarter than YouTube, and all I did was upload old videos that had been on YouTube and are still on YouTube all over the Internet. So watch out before they delete all the other videos of me on the Internet and before all of my man-on-the-street interviews that destroy the left protest. I mean, folks, I'm sorry. I'm not patting myself on the back. This is fact. There is not an individual in America that has destroyed the leftist protests in this country more than me. More than me. There is no one out there that has more content destroying the Trump protesters in live time in America than yours truly. That's no brag. That's just fact, bud. I'm talking hours of video. In fact, in fact... Maybe this is why they banned my YouTube channel. I was about to put up a documentary of me, of all of, of all the best content of my man on the street interviews. It was going to be about an hour and a half to two hours long, just savage moment after savage moment of my two years working at Infowars. I was about to put that up and, and, and upload that to my YouTube channel. Now I can't. And so now I, I try to get in touch with Savage Facts who has the content still, who was gonna, I was gonna use to help me put this together because of his compilations, and now I can't get in touch with him because I'm banned on YouTube. But so I say to YouTube in my appeal, I wasn't restreaming anything. I was banned from live streaming. I wasn't uploading any new videos that the War Room or Alex Jones was putting out. I was just doing me. It was just me. Just Owen Schroyer. My stuff. And so, the appeal's out there. I assume I'm going to win it because this is BS. Circumvention of technologies. I wasn't. I outsmarted you because here's what happened. CNN's Brian Stelter or Oliver Darcy told YouTube that the Owen Schroyer channel was an InfoWars channel and they were using that to get their content out despite all of the bans that they already put on us. But so YouTube didn't do the research and they just assumed that I was putting up new videos, new content, new live streams, which I wasn't. So CNN complains and lies to YouTube. YouTube doesn't do the due diligence. Assume CNN is telling the truth. Never assume that. That is the last thing you want to assume. You want to assume CNN is lying to you whole cloth. Unfortunately, CNN bought the CNN lie and fell for it. 
And so they had me for circumvention of technologies. I filed the appeal. I win the appeal, but I lose my channel. And this brings us to the email from today, right as I'm going live on the War Room Show. From the YouTube support. Hello. Your content has been removed due to one or more legal complaints that we received. We're, we've reviewed your appeal and determined that we're unable to reinstate your content. Sincerely, the YouTube team. Aw. You know, it's funny because about five years ago when I decided to do this, I quit Facebook and I quit Twitter and I went to YouTube because I thought that was the best platform. Oh, they banned me. But I'm sorry. Let's review this email again. You hit me with a technology circumvention. Circumvention of technologies complaint. I file my appeal. And then you tell me I have been removed due to one or more legal complaints I've received. Hmm. Wait a second, wait a second. What happened to the circumvention of technologies complaint that shut down my channel that I appealed and obviously won the appeal because you are now telling me a different story that, that you've had maybe one or more legal complaints against me? W what is that? What do you mean? What, legal complaints? What, 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 what legal complaints? All, again, all the videos I put up were old videos, man on the street videos. I never, I never put any music, never any copyrighted anything, nothing. So what, what legal complaints they say now? YouTube now says legal complaints. So what are they? Again, no, no, there's no, there's no source, there's no information. Just they say legal complaints. What legal complaints? Do I need to, do I need to hire a lawyer? Do I need to be talking to a lawyer? I mean, are people coming after me? What, what are the, what legal complaints? Okay, so that's where I'm at, and I've responded with an email. Asking them that exact question. Um, can you specify the legal complaints? Can you specify a video? Do I need to get a lawyer? So we'll see if YouTube responds to that last email. But what's the truth, ladies and gentlemen? The truth is that I have just successfully trolled YouTube into a giant lie and I have successfully trolled YouTube into showing its true colors, which is that they are banning people for their political speech 100%. Now, you didn't need me to tell you that. You already knew that. Everyone already knew that. I'm not, I'm not telling you something you don't know. All I'm doing is coming on here to document my case and to document this case and, and, and show you how this is all about politics. 110%. Now, if we had a real Congress that wasn't a bunch of pathetic fops, if, if we had a real Congress, not the 115th Congress that has been a pathetic excuse for a Congress and has let us down terribly, 11 hearings with these social media giants, zero, nothing, nada, nothing, they continue to censor. Now, if we had a real Congress that wasn't phony and, and a bunch of cowards, they would be grinding these social media companies into the ground about their censorship because it's not about hate speech. It's not about Russia. It's not about election meddling. It's 110% about politics. And if they're going to lie, if they're going to lie during their hearings under oath, then they have committed a felony lying under oath. 110% it's time to prosecute. If we have them under oath, which we do, saying they don't censor for politics, they have lied under oath, they belong in jail. 110% case closed. But we don't have a real Congress. We don't have a Department of Justice. And the president seems to be the only one that even wants to do anything in this country, in our government. A bunch of pathetic people in Congress. Now, we have the chance, hopefully in November, on November 6th, 
to put in the 116th Congress that isn't going to be a bunch of pathetic excuses for men and women. A bunch of pathetic excuses for Americans. I, again, folks, successfully trolled YouTube into admitting that they censor for political speech. 110%. These two emails that I covered in this broadcast prove it. Again, I'm not telling you what you don't know. Everyone knows this. Okay? But I have to document it. And I have to document it before I'm totally unpersoned and not allowed to even be on social media. Which, guess what? I don't give a fly. I hate social media. I like the real world. Yeah, I'm one of them. I'm one of those crazies that actually prefers to go out into the real world and socialize and actually experience Earth. So go ahead and ban me off social media. But know this, folks. My ideas, Alex Jones' ideas, and all the people they're censoring on social media, their ideas change the world, and that's why they're banning us. 100%. We change the world. And we now have the tools and the power and the will to do so. And so they're stopping us from changing the world, folks. These people have been in charge of this planet for decades. They run sex cults. They run Satanist, uh, Satanist cult ceremonies. They run the Catholic Church. They run almost every government across the world. Except they don't run Trump. Except they don't run Alex Jones. They don't run Infowars. They don't run Owen Schroyer. They don't run you. And we can change the world together. And now they know it. And we have the tools, the means, the will, and the ability to take control of this planet, take control of our destiny, and expose, expose the dark, dark shadows of planet Earth that have corrupted humanity, corrupted us spiritually, corrupted us culturally, corrupted us societally, corrupted us physically. And we now have the ideas to change the world, and they want to stop it. They have to maintain control. The Internet was built to control us. And now we're using it to defeat them, and they cannot have it. So just know this, if this is the last you see of me on social media. Just like they have to erase Alex Jones because of what he says is so truthful... If it was fake, folks, they wouldn't care. It's the truth that hurts. You can't handle the truth. Just know, if this is the last you see of me on social media, and I'm actually sending this out to my friends and to my family that probably don't really follow what I do much on politics, and maybe this is the first thing they've seen from me in years and really have no idea what's going on. Just know this. The reason I'm always under attack and lied about, and a lot of you don't even, you, you just don't get it. You're just shocked if you see me in the news. Oh, Russian this, uh, uh, but legal lawsuit that, like, whoa, oh, banned over here, what, oh. You just have no clue what's going on. And you just think I'm nuts. Just, just know this, if this is the last you see of me on social media, because I've been totally banned, and, and you would never take the time of the day to actually go listen to what I say, what Alex says, what InfoWars reports every day, to see that we're not crazy, to see that we're not liars, to see that we're not fake news, but we're the most groundbreaking, cutting-edge, multimedia organization in the history of the world, and our ideas have changed the world and will continue to change the world. So just know this, the reason why I get banned from social media and the reason why I'll probably be banned here too and you'll never see me on social media again is because my ideas change the world. And everybody deep down knows how corrupt this world is. Everybody knows the evils of this planet. We've all faced it. 
and buried it. But they're back. And they're trying to keep control of the planet. This is not a game. This is not a basketball game. This is not a Kim Kardashian photo shoot. This isn't a Cardi B music video. This is a planet hurtling through space, one in 10 trillion odds that you or I could even exist. Yet here we are hurtling through space, more mysteries in our very oceans than you could even imagine, let alone what's out there in the universe. And here on this little speck of dust that holds all of this life that shouldn't even be here, you've got geoengineering going on. You've got social engineering going on. I mean, I'm not, folks, you, we aren't in Kansas anymore, baby, but people are so distracted by a football game or by a big butt. They can't even see the wonders and the mysteries of the world around them. There are new breakthroughs happening every day when it comes to the secrets of the pyramids in Egypt. And and 99% of the planet couldn't even care less. They'd rather see two pyramids on a model on Instagram. But there is justice on this planet and it's God's justice. And there is justice in existence and it's God's justice. And God will have his justice. And the creator will be back. I just hope that we aren't such an abomination because of the evils that have been running this planet that the Creator doesn't return and send us all straight to hell. So just know this. If this is the last you see of me on social media, I'm not crazy. I'm right. And that's why they have to censor me. They wouldn't be censoring Alex Jones if he was crazy. They'd only be censoring him if he had information they didn't want you to know. And with that, I sign off tonight. Who knows the future of social media in this country? Hopefully, it has none. <laughs> but InfoWars will never stop fighting. I will never stop fighting. And we will have victory. And the next big victory for us is November 6th at this election. But rest, just don't rest on the, the globalists, the Illuminati, the shadow government, the deep state, whatever you want to call it. Don't rest on them because they got something big coming. And you better believe it. They wouldn't be erasing us, folks. They wouldn't be stopping us from going live if they didn't have something big coming. They know this is their last chance. If Trump gets a Congress that has his back, it, 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 it could be showtime. And it could be showtime before that. Unbelievable times to be living in, ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't feel it since the day you could think that you were meant to be on this planet to change the world and to save humanity then I feel bad for you because that is your destiny. So take it. For InfoWars.com, this is Owen Schroyer. You stay classy, InfoWarriors.